And this week for our Community Spotlight, we got a tour of a local brewery to see how they brew their beer. Scott Sheehan has more. Jack Pine Brewery has 11 beers. Dead Branch, Duck Pond, Fence Line, Ice Out IPA, Vengeance, Big Buck, Trespass, Nitro Fence Line, and Duck Pond infused with coffee. And all of them are made locally for the Brainerd Lakes area. Drinking local really supports your local community, just like visiting your local farmer, buying local produce, and it's, it's fresh. Beer is a perishable food item. It's best drank right at the source. This is the best this beer is ever going to taste, is right, right here. You know, it's, it's fresh. Most Saturdays, the craft beer community is welcome to see how Jack Pine brews their beers. First, the grain starts in the mash tun and mixes with hot water. Then the liquid is transferred to a boiling kettle where the hops are added. It's then transferred through an exchanger and chilled to about 60 degrees to fermenters where it ferments for about three weeks. It then goes into a bright tank where it chills and carbonates before being kegged and later poured out of the tap. A lot of people, uh, they enjoy the tours because uh, you get kind of a personal walkthrough walk through of it and you get to see where it's made, the equipment that it's brewed on, and kind of follow the beer through the path as it's you know, from grain to glass. And then you get to sample it in the tap room um, after the tour. By this summer, there are expected to be three breweries open in the Brainerd Lakes area. And Jack Pond will be one of the three stops craft beer enthusiasts can tour during a weekend. It's fun to grab a tour here and there, but if, if you want to try to get the full experience, it'd be really cool to, you know, kind of brewery hop and, and check them all out, get the full tour at each one, and just see, see what's different between all the breweries. Goldam Brewery opened in Nisswa last fall, and Big Axe Brewing Company is expected to open this spring, also in Nisswa. But if you're looking to tour the Brenner Lakes area's first brewery, Jack Pine Brewery, visit our website for more details. For this week's Community Spotlight, Scott Sheehan, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.